<coughs> Why is this a thing? Google Stadia is... They're, they're still trying to promote how great Google Stadia is and how, you know, how... You know, how... Google Stadia is the best thing to come, okay? Um... You know... Um, so Google Stadia promotes gender neutral controls as, as a selling point. You shouldn't be this is why comfort this is why stuff fails. Cause people do not care about wokeness <laughs> and controllers. People are not going to buy Stadia for wokeness. Okay, people are not gonna buy it for the quote unquote gender neutral controllers. But you know they try to make it really appeal towards all people, black, white, and the green, white, green, where's everybody, okay? So, we're going to go for having a masculine and a bit more mechanical in their approach, okay? A controller should really be the most comfortable controllers, okay? Not, you know, you know, oh, it's gender neutral, you know? It's a gender neutral, you know, controller, you know? It's a great selling point, okay? For games that you probably already own, okay, instead of being super gender neutral but very expensive. Ooh, it's a wee, it's wee to the board. Of course, the uh, industry desires it to buy safe controls that were test made to be easier for small hands to grips. It's basically knowing that the controls made for small and large hands be super usable for the large segment of gamers that are always appreciated. But why is it the biggest selling of the Google Stadia is that, you know, controls have been uh, uh have because the thing is the is the thing is the it's odd because controls have never been for you know marketed for male control people it's just made it was just it's controls if it's um for some for small hands to use like there's or Xbox some people uh for for some various of large hands like Nintendo Switch Joy Cons and appeal towards the universal appeal rather than these audiences okay uh, and but what's the point of them being net gender neutral? Okay. Oh, the core. There's another one. You know, the combat. You know, global warming doesn't exist. Okay. You know, so to call it as gender neutral. Oh yeah. Let's, okay. Here we go. Like you're gender neutral. All seems to be pretty patronizing because you know, controls have been never been advertised for a specific gender. That's the problem here. You know, okay. You're trying to appeal towards these people who don't buy products. Okay. The generation con consoles have been, you know, a lot have made for people have always been made for people regardless of gender or identity. So the whole point of advertising it for you know gender neutral is stupid. And of course, you know, we I don't want to talk about global warming, but go so called global warming that is, you know, completely over fabricated, okay? All these big companies are trying to commit to, you know, UN's plan for the planet. You know, the United Nations, they still exist, surprisingly. Um, and, you know, they're more about, you know, at, they're not more about, you know, Hong Kong, okay? And if the actual issues going on, okay? The actual issues going on, okay? The more about, you know, the so-called woman, the steel green that was started by, you know, these, uh, by this one person, okay? But, that's basically about Google. Google Stadia promotes a gender neutral controller, even though practically every controller is gender neutral. And the only controls that discriminate against people are people of different sizes of hands. So that's basically it. Goodbye.